I'm beginning to think that the powder that I've had for a very long time has kind of started to turn a little bit and it's making my face very scrunchy and painful. So I'll be right back. Right then, on with the show. So where are my opinions coming from? I've seen the original Tim Curry miniseries and loved it. I've seen it chapter one. I have not yet read the book. I have a very odd opinion about Stephen King's writing style, but I will read the book eventually. But for just now, I will kind of discuss it as a standalone chapter two, but I'm also going to do a little bit of comparison to the Tim Curry version as well. So there won't be any spoilers in this video, but if you haven't seen chapter two yet, the children from chapter one are now fully grown up and living their own separate lives and then mysterious weird things start to happen and somebody knows this is Pennywise, this is what's happening. And they all get back together again and they all have to try and defeat Pennywise and I love that because while I love the children defeating Pennywise there's something so great, so fascinating about fully grown adults with professional jobs and families in their own lives defeating what is essentially what would appear to be a figment of their imagination, you know, something that other people would not believe in if they hadn't seen it, which of course most people hadn't. And I think it's very fascinating the way that it's done. We have some flashbacks to the uh, to the children and I think that that was very effective. I thought it worked very well. It wasn't forced, there wasn't too much of it. I think the film as a whole, although very long, it's a very long film, I think they got the balance and the pacing pretty much spot on. The big thing for me with this is, was it going to be scary? And yes, it's the short answer. It wasn't the most terrifying film. I wouldn't say I nearly wet myself. It wasn't, you know, horrendously scary. But I think the way it scared was really effective. We had some scary moments that I can't spoil, but I will say fortune cookie. And that particular scene I thought was really eerie and worked very well. Pennywise himself, I don't think Pennywise looked as scary as he did in chapter one. Maybe that's because I'm kind of acclimatised to him now, but what I love most, certainly for maybe the first half of the film, is that Pennywise was there, but you couldn't see him, you knew he was there. But the absence of Pennywise for a lot of this film created the fear. You knew he was there, but you didn't know when he was going to arrive. And yet when he did arrive, the film didn't really rely on jump scares either, which I loved, because I hate jump scares. Nine times out of ten, a jump scare is expected, and even though you do jump, you know it's coming and it's just boring. But this one, there are a few jump scares, of course, that are, it's clown, it's scary, but most of the fear was really cleverly intertwined with other emotional aspects of the film, and it, you just never know how you're feeling. And also the soundtrack, the music, was exquisite and I loved it. So, is it better or worse than the Tim Curry version? Wow, um, I think it's better. The second chapter, I think the second chapter is better. But I think the first chapter, the first half of the Tim Curry version, when they're children, is better. So if we can use the first half of the original adaptation and the second half, chapter two of the new one, and mash them together, I'd say that would be a masterpiece. Would I recommend chapter two? Absolutely every single time. Completely loved it. Not my favourite film ever, but certainly one of my favourite clown films. And I I don't know, but I just feel like maybe we haven't seen the last of Pennywise yet. <laughs>